Alright, this is Anna Smith and welcome to another episode of Alice Mare. So, in the last episode, we have finished the route of Labby. That is this girl right here. We have finished her route. And this is her brother. The story of her is the one with the... Oh, yeah, Hansel and Gretel. It's a story for those two. And now we're going to... Um, I think we got another world key. Um, so we ju we're just going to give it to this guy right here. Ah, you made it back. Why are you crying? One world at a time, is it? What a bother. Well, fair enough. We recovered one of them. I'll collect everything you picked up in the world as well. These will soon vanish at any rate. Alice seems to be hanging on by a thread now. And the torn pages. I'll put these together. Here you are. A faint and burgundy note. Now then, I'll open the door to the next world. I'm counting on you once more. Okay. Who came up with all the rules of these worlds, you know? I wouldn't make nothing like that, but just give it time, he says. Makes all these dumb rules, he does. Bah, but we just gotta follow him. Cause if we don't, we'll get punished. What? Can't the guy talk about what he likes? What you consider normal is gonna vary from person to person. Boy, you look like a wreck. Don't need to get so worked up about somebody you just met. Doesn't that just wear you out? Oh, or did you forget all that too? I know everything, cause I stole them. Not giving it but of course. So tell me, is it really empty inside you? Is there even the slightest kind of anything? Sure, that's so. Well, I'll ask you again later. Praying on how you don't crack too quick. Hey, it's time. We'll talk later. Okay, so... Um, this is the second door. Let's talk to this girl. Full of teddy bears, of course. A teddy bear. A book labeled Mother Goose turned pages. What are little boys made of? What are little boys made of? What are little boys made of? Frogs and snails and puppy dogs' tails. That's what little boys are made of. What are little girls made of? What are little girls made of? Sugar and spice and all that's nice. That's what little girls are made of. Okay, teddy bear. The sky is red. A teddy bear, a teddy bear. Okay. A teddy bear. It smells nice. There are a lot of letters inside written first. Thank you for the letter. It's your mother alright? You shouldn't push yourself either. If there's anything you need, please get an adult to help. I owe so much to your mother. If you don't mind, I'd really like to see you again. There's still plenty of space, so I'll ask you a riddle again this time. This one's harder than the last. Think you can solve it? First of all, it is only two, but in time, there are four, then soon, eight. How many are there in the end? Give my best regards to your mother. Your answer to that last riddle was correct, I'm impressed. So what's the answer? Oh, yes, it's six, because the end is six letters. Ah, you got it yet again. I couldn't solve it myself, perhaps I'm too hard-headed. I've been hearing such bad news lately. Be careful when you go out, alright? It's gotten cold with the change of seasons. Be sure not to catch a cold. Now then, another riddle. Stand and it gets lower, but sit and it gets higher. What could this be? Take care of yourself. Maybe that one was too hard. The answer is the ceiling. It's lower when you stand, but higher when you sit. By the way, I shall be able to come by in about three days from now. It's been so long since we met. I last visited when you were little, so perhaps you don't remember. So next time, let's talk in person. I'll tell you plenty of riddles then too. Look forward to it. I know I will. Alright. Cold. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. I 
red fruits, chocolate vegetables, plenty of milk, uh, alright. She looks strong, they smell like forest, drawing of a man's face. That's very soothing. I put the painting. Alright. Hey! Uh, Alan! Phew, you scared me. Um, ah. Uh, do you know where this is? A dream. Okay, okay, thanks. Sorry, I'm not good at talking. But I don't hate it. Really. It was scary being alone, but I've calmed down a little. Will you go with me? Okay. You want this? It's just a blank sheet of paper, but... Okay. Here. Obtained a notebook scrap. My mother has a very weak body, so I do the cooking, washing, and other chores instead of her. My father isn't home much. Sometimes he brings home a wolf or a deer. I want to go to school, but I love mother, so I always stay at home with her. Mother always lies in, in bed, saying sorry, I'm sorry. And her voice always sounds like it's about to fade away. Medicines in three colors. We have note, filled with ornaments. Okay. It's locked. It won't open? That's weird. What should we do? Ah, okay. Good day. I'm really hungry right now. Oh. If you need medicine, there's some in the room over. He's hungry, why would he need a medicine? But the stomach medicine needs to be mixed first. What was it? The first color goes, the second color yields, the third color stops. Green, yellow, red, right? That's what grandma said, and that it refers to something. But she said it will explode if I messed it up, so I should stay away. You want to try? Sure. Let's make this. You have to mix the medicines in the order I said before. Will you really do it? If you mess up, it's going to explode. Be careful, what color will you mix? first color goes, right? The second yields, and the third stops. It, it didn't explode. Phew, that should be okay. This medicine should work, I think. Obtain medicine. Alright, let's go back to that little creature or something. Ooh. Um, we brought medicine. Thanks! Ah, oh, much better. I feel great. Alright, I don't need this, so take it. Notebook scrap. Um, alright. You don't just give someone to help you a piece of paper, okay? My grandma in the woods have had a job making medicine. When my mother ran out of medicine, I'd go to grandma's house. One day, mother told me like to go there like always. Today, she wants to give a present too, since she was indebted to her. It's full of bread and wine, but you're not to eat it along the way. Like I always tell you, don't stray from this path. Because there are scary wolves. I said I'd do that what she said and left the house. While walking through the forest, I found a pretty flower garden. Okay. So I suppose you can do that. Yeah. Oh, it's unlocked. Before you came, Alan, I saw a teacher. He said not to go anywhere, but I broke my promise. Should we look for him? Well, let's go to Grandma's house. Oh wait, can we pick a few flowers? Sure, anything for you. Plain flowers. Thanks. I love the flowers here. To tell the truth, I'm told not to pick them, but it's just a dream, so... Let's go to Grandma's. It's straight ahead from here. 
I'm gonna play the not no Seriously, you have to strike every player ever? Okay, we we cannot even stray from the path, okay? Huh? No bridge. What what now? We can't get to Renmas. Oh my head spinning. In a jam? Hello, Alice and Alice. Don't stare too hard, it's deadly, you know. Just kidding. Don't freak. So you wanna cross the river? I'll take you over. Not even kidding, but it ain't gonna be free. Just a little game, love them, don't you? As you can see, I have here a wolf, a sheep, and a cabbage. You wanna row your boat, use your imagination to get a mole to the other shore. Except, there are a couple conditions. One, you can only carry one thing on the boat at a time. Two, if you leave the sheep alone with the cabbage, sheep will Ill eat it. Three, leave the wolf alone with the sheep, wolf will show down. Those are the rules. Now, what's the minimum number of times you gotta roll across? Talk to me when you got the answer. Get it right and I'll take you to the other shore. But yep, yeah, just like the rules of Alice World, you only get three glasses. That's a third one and it's a dead end, friend. Alrighty, get those gears turning. Alright, so rowing across means that um Okay, she remembers it. Alright. Okay, the wolf and the cabbage is fine as she said before. So to row across that means um uh yeah to row across and then to go back requires two times okay so first things first we'll get the wolf to row across right and then we row in across again and get the cabbage uh that's three times and then return the, with the cabbage and then get the sheep no wait 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 when the wolf is right there, the sheep will be left alone with the cabbage, right? So, yeah. Okay. We take the sheep first. We take the sheep across. And then we take the... Um, we take the... Uh, we row back and then we take the cabbage across. Yeah. We take the cabbage across um, and then we return with the sheep. We take the wolf across and then we return without anything and then we take the sheep again. Okay, so first, um, all right, seven, right? Tell me your answer. Just a number, please. Anything else? And count in one, seven. Okay, that's correct. All right, off on your way. Promise is a promise. Close your eyes. Looks like the other shore. You notice there's a scrap in your hand. Obtained a notebook scrap. Okay. Don't stray from the path. I warned myself. But I was sure Grandma would be glad if I could bring her some flowers too. So I picked a flower or two. Then a man came by and asked if I knew a medicine maker. He must have meant grandma. I told him I was going there too, so he should come with me. The man smiled and helped me pick flowers. Then we held hands and walked to grandma's house. I don't hold hands with father much, so it was sort of a new sensation. Uh, you're spacing out. What's wrong? It's right here, Renna's house. Let's go. I wonder if mother's okay. She's always been sick, but grandma says that she'll get better. Someday, she won't wake up. She won't talk with me ever again. When I think about that, I cry a lot. Father's all red. It's scary. Alan, is there someone you want to protect? Not sure. Oh, you lost your memories, huh? Alan, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Let's go. It's getting a little cold. And it's kind of scary here. 
Okay, so I think we all know the story in here. It's Red Riding Hood, right? Okay, so let's save and then... Don't touch that! Oh, sorry. What's the matter with me? It's Grandma's field. I think she grows the things for her medicine here. But I've never seen anything like this before. So what's this? Scream for me, scream for me, scream for me. Scream, more scream. Yes. It's like what is that? Mandrake. It's kind of like Mandrake, huh? It's locked after we came so far. What now, Ellen? Hmm. Um, let's see. Ah, oh, there you Oh, and what do you want? Hmm. The door is locked, huh? That certainly is weird. Seeing as that house doesn't even have a lock. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, there is a way, too. But you see, her squeakiness, me, is currently wanting a flower. Practically can't live without it. Bring me one, won't you? What kind of flower is it? My, my, what a tiny weird voice you have. Ha ha ha. Ha I'll only say it once, so listen up. When she's red, she's passionate. When she's white, she gives pure XXXX. When she's blue, she's eternally devoted. When she's but when she's yellow, she's deeply jealous. Ah, but one last thing, she's very often mistaken for another. But unlike that other flower, she never hurts people, so don't make that mistake. Right, off you go, bring me the other one and I'll have to eat you. We picked some flowers earlier. There's a bunch here. I'll slip them I split them up for you. Save again. And let's see the items. Okay, so we have here a tulip, a rose, carnation, ma pansy, and margaret. Okay, so the only flower that is known that I know is going to hurt people is rose because of the thorns, right? And it is said that the flower is often mistaken as the rose. So, tulip is out of the question and also pansy is out of the question and so it leaves with margaret and carnation um i don't know what margaret is so i'll just go with carnation okay and we have three tries anyway oh you brought her hurry up then her squeakiness decreases. it which one carnation well, well, so you really brought her. Okay, that's nice. Ah, oh, I'm so glad. Finally, I can eat. Ah, she ate it. Ha ha ha, very tasty. It's really the best of the past. Ah, yes, yes. Something to open the door. Here you are. Obtained an axe. Y yeah, you keep it. It's too happy for me. It's kind of forceful. But this should work. You there, hold on a moment. Take this as well. Only for you, royalty has no need it. Let me guess. Um, a piece of notebook scrap. I fucking knew it. Okay. We reached Grandma's house and Grandma waits to welcome me. The man bowed slightly too. The medicine is in the usual place. I went to get Mother's medicine from the back room. Just then I heard a loud sound. There. There I saw. I saw a wolf eat Grandma. Then he stuffed a lot of medicine in a bag. Then he noticed me and started walking toward me. Alright, let's enter the house. Alan, you're pretty amazing. Save. Nothing in particular. It smells prettier, it smells sweet. I'll put. Cry, baby, cry. Cry, baby, cry. Put your finger in your eye and tell your mother it was an eye. Grandma! No response. Let's get the shot. So 
I guess we didn't find Peter. And things are kind of weird here. It smells bad too. Hey, do you know... How do you wake up from this dream? I see. Did that come from the other room? I... I... I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna move from this spot. Okay, but don't let go. Don't leave me. Please. Sure thing. Ah, be careful with that broken bottle. You're not hurt? Okay, that's good. Ah, the medicine's all messed up. And it smells bad. Okay, nothing huh? Alright, let's go. No! You're not grandma! Wake up! Wake up! Right, it's just a dream. I didn't wanna say it. Not again. I won't do it again. I mean it. Forgive me. Forgive me. Use the axe. Kill that motherfucker. Father. Red. The color red. I hate it. Stop. I close my eyes so I can't see. Hold my hand. Obtained a notebook scrap. I can't look people in the eye. I'm scared to hold their hand. It makes me remember it. If only I hadn't picked those flowers and hadn't met him and hadn't held his hand. Lots of blood came out. It smelled really bad. Teacher, I'm still a little scared, but I'm sort of okay. Teacher, I still can't forgive. Blah blah, those eyes, that color, I'm scared, help me. The words toward the end are too blurred to, to read. Okay, so that's it for Alice Mare episode 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Well, see ya!